Well, that's fun. And it's got a superheater. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it in pieces. Let's explore. Good morning. Morning. Today we are leaving Scarborough. What did you think of Scarborough, Phil? Oh, lovely. Beautiful spot. Go there again? Yep. What did you think of the hotel? Yeah, really nice. We had an awesome stay in Scarborough. We caught up with friends. We actually spent the day in Fre Fremantle. We ended up at a food truck market thing on Thursday night, which was amazing. Mm. What are we doing today, Phil? Heading to the Swan Valley. And what's at the Swan Valley? Oh, some wine, maybe. Chocolate? Ah, oh, chocolate too. We're just going to go and show off some of the things in the Swan Valley and yeah, maybe a few extras as well. First stop for the day is Pinelli's Winery. They have a great restaurant. We came here a few years ago and we're going to check out their cellar door. This is the Shedder Block, which is a silver metal winner. The guy was just showing us the restaurant is now in their hands and managed by them, and it is an Italian restaurant. Um, years ago when we came, it was French. The Swan Valley might be known for its wine, but we're also going to show you some other things. I'll have a rosé yeah, thing. Yeah, rosé Yeah. We popped into Lancaster's hoping to do cheese, but I can't see any cheese. And they are rocking. They've had a bus, a tour bus come on, and it looks like a hen's weekend. Such a beautiful setting. What do you think, Phil? Quite nice. Quite nice right All Saints Church to get a photo op and they happen to have a fake going on. Oh, 
This is All Saints Church, apparently the oldest church in WA. It's quite a lovely, quaint, simple building. After the train, I hate to get run over by this train. Does it look good? It does, it looks nice. It's diamond. It's just that. Coleslaw good? Mm, very nice. So what did you get? Chicken pie? Mm -hmm. Worth the wait? Now I've got a beetroot and feta quiche and salad. The quiche is nice, just very very hot. We're going to have lunch now. See you soon. The cottage tea rooms in um, Hanley Brook, great place. It was a little bit slow on service, but it was worth the wait. This is pumping station one of the Goldfields pipeline and this is the weir The pipeline is 550 kilometres to the east is where it goes. The water flowing through this pipeline takes 5 to 11 days depending on the time of year to reach Kalgoorlie which is the 550 kilometres away and on an average 90 million litres is pumped daily. Nearly 8,000 kilometres of pipe extended north and south from the main pipeline the pipe network holds 300 million litres of water. There was a workout, but we've got the water from Mundaring to Mount Charlotte in Kalgoorlie. Afternoon, some kangaroos having afternoon tea. Does it? 
where are we? Parky. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, where are we? The Parkerville Cabin, or as it's known by the local, the Parky. But roughly about, or oh, I'd say about 30, 30 to 40 kilometres from Perth, up in the hills. Parkerville is a suburb of the hills of Perth, and it's um, very semi-rural, and a lot of trees, and just very lovely. And we've just seen the wildlife going around, some yeah. short, short-tailed bandicoots. Hopefully I got it, but I think it was a bit quick. Yeah, well, wait around our place, you'll definitely see them around our place too. <laughs> Sam loves them too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it in pieces. <laughs> Another fantastic day over in Perth. If you want to see more, why not hit the like and subscribe button, ring that little bell and you'll be notified of our upcoming videos. As always, thanks for joining us. Travel brilliantly. Bye. If you want to see more of our WA adventure, check out the playlist above or find us on social.